So hello everyone. Today we have the last session. Uh, hello everyone. Sorry for the for my comment. Uh, so uh, we have today a uh, last session. Uh, our last session is how to create storytelling that sells. Uh, our speaker uh, Natalia Ivan. You already know her. Uh, because she already gave us uh, information and presentation about the LinkedIn. Uh, so uh, now today, we will be like our closed session today. So now I will give floor to Natalia Ivan. And please, Natalia, floor is yours. Uh, time and presentation already start. So welcome. Thank you and welcome everyone. Uh, for those people who did not participate in the LinkedIn uh, webinar uh, a week ago, let me introduce you shortly. Uh, 20 years in promotion and marketing, working for different uh, industry. Um, currently, uh, I've been working uh, for three years as a marketing leader for the company with a financial profile. Uh, and I have also participated in similar pro training projects for people starting their businesses in Poland. Today, uh, we are going to talk about storytelling and, um, uh, and that what, why this is important for uh, in, in the marketing. Because as you absolutely know that the world is changing and uh, marketing also has to follow the changes and answer our customer needs and uh, uh, as you know today that the, the, we do not for example we do not go to hairdresser anim anymore we go to hair stylist who who not who does the, the hair job with passion knows more about hair not just only about the cutting know how to how uh, how to match the hairstyle and our hair color and to match to our skin and uh, as I mentioned, does the job with the passion and by, by occasion. Uh, uh, Natalia, Natalia, sorry. Uh, the girls writing on the chat that uh, your voice uh, not very well. So okay. they didn't uh, hear you very well. So can you somehow uh, check it or? I would, I would check with my headphones, okay? Okay, yes. Sorry. No problem. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. And it's uh, better? Yes. Is it better now? Yes. yes, yes, it's good. Okay. So uh, uh, the suggestion I was doing about the changes, the, how, how the world is changing and how the marketing is changing and how marketing uh, needs to meet uh, our customer needs. Uh, because as I, I said on the simply case, about the hairstylist, hairdresser. We just expect more just, you know, to have our hair cut. We need, we expect that the, uh, that the uh, hairdresser will know about the trends, will, uh, will, uh, will be able to match our color of the skin to the color of the hair and we'll do more. And we also, by the way, offer the tea or coffee during the visit. visit. Uh, so what is the meeting today's about? Uh, after the webinar, you will know how to build a good story to convince our customer to sell. You will know where to use it. And also you will know how to sell by this kind of the marketing for. What is this webinar about? Not, we are not, we are not, uh, we are not talking about the copywriting, however, we will talk how to write a good story to sell. And we are not going to, to talk about 
video marketing. However, we are going to watch the movies because the copywriting and the video marketing are different topics, are very, very huge uh, topics to discuss and it's quite a different thing what storytelling is about. So, uh, how to build this the good story? What is this, the storytelling telling at all? The storytelling is closely related to your business and your products and help you to sell. By storytelling, we build a specific specific content of our brand and our product to direct messages to customer, not only for sales, but as you will see a little bit later, uh, to help customers to become familiar with the, with the company, with the products. It's not always only about the product. It's about product mission, about company mission, it's about company product vision. It's more about sometimes, uh, as we will talk a little bit later, storytelling wants to change even all the world just to be remembered uh, by our customers. For example, as you can see on this slide, uh, and I hope you agree with me, it's a nice, quite young and very handsome baker. But in the storytelling, this guy is not only a baker. He is a baker in a bakery with many years of tradition. Uh, he bakes according to his grandma's recipe. Yes, he runs and uh, run a family business. Uh, and this kind of the information should be emphasized in every step of the storytelling of the communication especially now when there's a, such a trend to support a local businesses, family businesses, and also uh, ecological, uh, ecological products. So if this nice baker uh, bakes uh, and uses for baking uh, ecologi uh, eco ecological product, that's too good. It's something, he has a topic, he has a subject, he has an idea uh, what to, sell by story to the customer. Okay. Uh, the storytelling in the theory is simple, but in the practice, it's not easy. It's a different between simple and easy. Simple because it's, it's, it's simple to understand what to do, how to do to make a good storytelling uh, marketing, but it's not easy because you have to put a lot of effort to write or um, produce, record the movies or uh, prepare some kind of the in, uh, infographics to do the storytelling and you have to publish it to the customer and check, monitor, however, do they like it or not? And over and over, repeat the storytelling you want to sell, you want to tell to the, to the customer and check which one is better. There's no other way. That's why I, at the beginning, I mentioned uh, the copywriting topics because the copywriting topics is, is of course the part of storytelling. This is such a long lecture to, to go through and to uh, exercise, exercise and exercise over and over again. Even uh, I, I know a lot of uh, um, copywriters reading, uh, writing the storytelling uh, uh, as a text. And they always prepare few version, do the A-B tests, check the statistics and improve the text and improve the text over and over. This is this kind of the marketing tool and there is nothing else we can do. As I said, that the storytelling is simple. You just tell interesting story in an interesting, attractive way, you locate the product or the name of the company in it and sell it directly or not directly. And this, ki this kind of the uh, cases I will show you 
um, um, and we will watch we will watch the movies. So it's simple, but it's not easy. Takes a lot of effort. Okay. Every each story using for storytelling needs to be based on a good scenario. Whatever will be a form or storytelling, which we'll talk about a little bit later, they need to have a good scenario. Every scenario need to have this kind, these elements presented on the slide. So has to be the, the history need to be settled based on some kind of the con context. Why? Because we are different people living in different countries. We have a different experiences and different stories. Uh, and uh, when you think about telling the story, you have to start to understand the context of the situation. Uh, it could be an, a universal content, like, uh, for example, is going to the restaurant, yes? But you have to focus on it and you have to pay attention if the context, context needs to, uh, need to have some kind of specific uh, uh, description or elements so your customer will understand all whole story. You want to you want to, to you want to tell the next element is a hero of course it's important because the people like to see uh, other people's uh, and uh, th th there is a, a such a gold idea that every story needs to have a hero I don't know if you can share with me information what is the uh, the most popular um, story for children in Georgia? In Poland, we have, uh, uh, you know, the the uh, uh, the children in the story, the, the princesses in the story. So every each story needs to have a hero. In marketing, the storytelling also need to have a hero. On the picture, you see the regular normal situation in restaurant. And at the moment, as I'm speaking, we don't know who is the hero. Uh, in the tolly staring there should be one hero. This is a, something important that the story needs to be focused based on one hero. Uh, the, the next element is business barrier. When we tell the, when we tell the story, we need to uh, do it in a creative, creative way. So, uh, and convince our customer to remember our brand or to, to, uh, to buy our product. So, the, the best thing in the storytelling is to show some kind of the barrier, business barrier, and how to fight with, how, how to, how to uh, take the limits off. And the twist of action is always something what uh, in storytelling gives some action as a twist of action. So it's a twist of action. And the fin finally, the storytelling scenario should show uh, some kind of the solution of the situation. Let's talk about these uh, elements for scenario of storytelling on the, uh, uh, such a, such an example. Let's talk about the restaurant. Let's, let's, uh, let's say that you are the owner of the restaurant and uh, you have uh, uh, uh, some, uh, some numbers of uh, customers who visit your restaurant very often. They are very loyal and uh, you know uh, them even by name. And you just decided that uh, you will include in your menu a new menu, like a sub menu. Let's say you, you are a pizza restaurant and you wanted to include a sushi. I know there are, there are two different foods, but it doesn't matter. New kind of the new menu, you just think about it like an investment. You uh, got, you hire a new staff. You uh, spend money for new equipment. Even you decide that you need to rent a one more room to put new tables for the new customers and to do the grand, grand, grand opening. To introduce this new, new menu to the cost customer, also to new customers and you know, sell, sell more, uh, sell more, and grow the business. Uh, okay, Th this is the this is the context. The hero, the hero could be a fan of the delicious food. You didn't have customers uh, uh, who like uh, sushi before. Now, with the sushi men menu, you can invite more new customers, the fans of sushi food. 
And what happened? What happened? Now, just the pandemic happened. You just started to think about the new business. I mean, about the new money. You just invest a lot of time, effort, and money to introduce sushi menu to your client, new client. And now your restaurant must be closed. Okay. This is a business barriers in the business, in the situation. And in your story, of course, you, you, you want to tell. Then what happened? With the twist of action, you just decide to display an, an advertisement on the internet and offer your customer, it doesn't matter the old one, the new one, uh, it, a takeaway service. And this way, you still will run the business, you won't close it, you won't get bankrupt. And the solution in this situation is an online ordering platform that let you sell the, the regular menu food and the sushi food to your customer. Uh, if the restaurant didn't use the takeaway orders before and any um, kind of the internet platform for ordering, the twist of situation and finding the solution with this kind of the platform and use this kind of the platform will show your customer at first that you just got a sense of moment that even if you find out some new businesses barrier in the business, in the situation, in the context, uh, you can uh, just fight it. You can use it uh, to, the, to, to grow your business and show that uh, you can convince the customer, the old one and the new one, that your company, your brand is worth trusting. Uh, and according to storytelling, it's, it's very necessary to put those uh, five elements together and uh, use appropriate words, interesting words and emotions, as we'll talk a little bit later, to, to tell the story and to uh, build the bond with the customers and to convince you to trust your company. Okay, this is a COVID situation. I always talk too much and forget to press the button to make some action and emotion. So we have a COVID situation for, according to the restaurant behind us and hopefully we will have uh, the COVID situation we have be, be behind uh, all the world. Okay, do you have any question to this moment? I'm not able to, to follow the chat, so please, Forgive me if you just write something on the chat and I don't follow. Uh, no, on the chat we have not. The okay, questions. okay. But if okay. someone wants to ask, please. Yes. yes. Don't, don't be shy. I wouldn't like to do all talking for the, in this meeting. So I do have uh, some question to you. Uh, during the presentation, so don't worry. And if it's not question, if you don't have a question, I just I will follow the presentation. So, uh, as I say, it's simple. So let's uh, stick to the simple part. We have a three rules of storytelling: it's a bond building, it's emotion, and it's authenticity. Uh, marketing today, it's it's a must offer some added value to our customer. It's not enough today just to stay in touch in our, with our customer by phone, by email, by some kind of the contact form uh, to just exchange uh, the information about the product. Uh, sometimes it sell, but, but uh, very often it doesn't. Our customer uh, expect more. So uh, the marketing, and the uh, contacts with our client uh, must, must to have be more personalized. You have to treat your customer in, and individually and uh, propose this kind of the marketing that will build an emotional bond uh, with the customer uh, doing this by product or by the name of the company, by the company at all. Let's imagine this kind of the situation. You are going to the market hall full of fruits and you want to buy, as you see, an orange. There's a many orange sellers in the market. At first, you go to this stand where the seller is not very nice. 
look at the newspaper um, and just, you know, look like he's just waiting to finish his job and close the stand and go home or for the beer with the friends. Of course, he will answer your question uh, about the price, but that's it. And the, the next stand, you see a very nice guy, a smiling face, very open. Uh, you can hear a little bit music over there. And when you come, he will just tell the story about the oranges, uh, where do they grow, how do they bloom, and what is the smell of the flowers before the fruits uh, will appear. He will talk to you and uh, tell you how many people walk to uh, take care of the trees, to, uh, to pick up the, the oranges and uh, to deliver them to your, to your place. And you will just feel very, um, very important person for the seller. He will pay attention to you, spend the time to get some kind of the interaction with you. you. You will normally feel the atmosphere where the oranges grow. You just answer yourself, which one seller will you choose? And where will you buy the oranges? But to show you an example of good storytelling related to the bond building, I didn't find a movie uh, showing the oranges. But I find out a very nice uh, movie with the title, You Are More Beautiful Than You Think, uh, produced by Dove. Uh, and I would like to dedicate this movie to you because we have all women uh, participating in our webinar probably. Uh, and please uh, let me switch to the YouTube. Uh, yes, we have only moments, so. Okay, uh, let's see the movie. And after the movie, I will make some short comment. Uh, and please uh, take the time because the storytelling movie are a little bit longer than just a commercial, but it's worth to see, what, worth to watch. Natalia, we cannot hear nothing, so uh, we should do. There is some voice or not? Uh, do you think that I should uh, take my head off and uh, try to? Uh... I think yes. Uh, can you try it? Yes, of course. No. Um, um, I will ask uh, girls, okay, but you can give me to come on. Uh, maybe, maybe I will try again. Mm -hmm. Moment. Oh. 
that I would want fuller lips. Uh, yes. Now, now it's uh, we have some voice. So let's start it again, please. Yes. Yes. Sorry please. for that. No problem. Um, I think still we have not voice, but just let to watch without voice. Um, Natalia, still we have not sound. Unfortunately, the girls also write on the chat and I have also not. Could you please repeat because I didn't hear. Could you hear? Still no, uh, still no sound. Uh, and girls also write on the chat and for me also, I can hear also. So, the... so maybe it's the best, the best way to send on the chat the, uh, the, uh, the link to the movie and uh, uh, hmm. everyone will see on their own computer. Okay, yes. Because we, we, can't, we can't just, you know, follow the presentation if we don't know what time I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, describing the movies. Okay. Okay, so I will stop sharing now and on the chat, uh, I'm sending you a link to the first movie and, uh, and I will please watch the movie by yourself and uh, in a six minutes, I we will just continue. Maybe I will try to share it. Or maybe, maybe. Can you hear? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't think I don't have to hear because I know it. But how about our participants? Uh, do, do not waste a time. Uh, please let us yes. know if if you would like to watch the movie on your computer, or I will just show you the. Uh, the video without sound and describe what is this about to to just proceed and uh, continue. Please let let us know what option is best for you. I think uh, it would be better if we, I already know that this movie actually, but okay. anyway, who doesn't know that uh, this is way better if uh, they go from a link and show um, li just uh, listen to this to the in their computers. Okay. okay. Thank because you. because the decision decision you choose just you know uh, uh, let let me know what to do to give you the six minutes to watch the movie and wait. Yes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот, вот,
İyi de bir var. Atın sesini şey yazamayız.
I think some of the girls already finished uh, the video. Okay, okay, so we can. Video. So we, I think we can. Uh, we can continue. Okay, uh, okay. Yes. So. Okay, thank you. So you you watch the the video. You are more beautiful than you think, and uh, and you could probably be surprised. Why did I choose this one? Without any product, there is no product located in the movie. But I especially uh, choose this one because about it's about the women, and it's very nice story. And it's no product located in it because it's about bond building you watch the story there is a situation at first you don't know you don't uh, really understand as the heroes of the uh, of the of the movie uh, and it, it, it's no no product placement because the the storytelling it's not always about product placement as i said sometimes it's about the mission the vision and about about some kind of the idea your company, your brand want to popular between some uh, target group, it's women in this case. Uh, and and the, the movie is, uh, it's, it's, it's quite simple, yeah? The, the, uh, the information, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the news even, uh, we got from the movie that other people see, see us much beautiful than we think that we are and something this is something positive this is something worth to share and finally we can say as a marketer that it's this kind of division mission is sponsored by DAF because we see the brand at the end uh, this kind of the movies uh, sharing the mission vision of company which are not with the product located in it. You can uh, you can uh, find in the internet a lot of them, and uh, the the top brands are on the walls. They they did this kind of the production very very well. Uh, but what why are they work? Uh, why do they work? And uh, why are they connected to sell? We will find out a little bit later. Okay. So the first rule. Uh, of the storytelling is a bond building, not necessarily always connected with the product location. The second uh, uh, rules of storytelling is an emotion. Uh, in marketing, we say that there is a, there's no sale without the emotion, but you need to be careful with the emotion in Poland. I don't know if in Georgia too, in Poland, we say the term playing on someone's emotion and this is not uh, not a good uh, um, uh, good impression because it's very close to manipulation and in this and that's why we need to be careful uh, doing the storytelling to do not uh, manipulate our customer but all you need to do to change the context of the language uh, that uh, the manipulation sounds really like a good good story uh, we would we could just think if the daf movie as a manipulation uh, it's absolutely always depends on our feelings on the customer feelings but making this scenario you need to be careful about the emotion of course we buy with the eyes with the hearts but anyway when you see a very nice um, movie of insurance or uh, let's say let's stick with the insurance and you don't need the insurance at all because you don't have a car for example car insurance and you are not uh, you don't own the car you won't buy an in car insurance insurance just because you like the movie of course you will buy because the products answer the problem you have or satisfies your needs so even if the storytelling is great the scenario at first is fabulous the our customers won't buy our products or won't uh, remember our our brand just only because he saw or she saw nice 
nice movie. So emotions are, has to be accompanied by identification with the brand or the products. And, and I uh, emphasize this answer, our needs. Uh, the second movie I would like to offer you to see uh, I I put the, the I copied the link. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I copied the link from YouTube to the chat. And uh, please let me know if you want to watch it. And uh, if yes, please let me know when you are when you finish to watch the movie. This is the, the video advertisement all of, uh, and now until 2013, out of the Thailand, uh, a mobile operator company. And the title of the movie is The Best Communication is Giving. Please, please confirm. I love this movie. This is a very popular movie yeah. here. Okay. Maybe you know that too. Maybe you all saw the movie, so we, we want to take it. Have you seen the movie? So we won't waste the time. I think not everyone. So so let's uh, let's see. Let's, let's okay. see everyone. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's Thank see. you. Okay. Mm
this is Covered on the potash, let me just from. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can continue. Okay, okay. So again, no uh, product product placement in the movie, but I don't know if you know that uh, over 9 million internet users. Uh, all around the world saw this ads in the first week after publication. And even you don't know the language because uh, sometimes you don't have a text. Uh, and the, the Thailand language is pro it's not the most popular on the world. And sometimes even you don't even uh, know the reality of the of the of the of the country. Uh, you will understand the universal message of emotions because it's absolutely whatever we want to, we want to talk about the movie, the story, that the, that the stealing is not something good because you shouldn't steal for, from, from other people. Well, yes, we can discuss it's, it's good uh, uh, or not that the boy uh, was stealing the medication for his mother. It really doesn't matter this story. The story says what the company building the bond is want to sell to the to say to cost to customer that the best communication as a communication company the best communication is giving it's not about the product it's about the emotion okay and uh, the third uh, rule of storytelling is authenticity uh Thinking about the storytelling, please create the authentic brand uh, and speak in a very authentic way to your customer, because uh, the customer, uh, uh, you know, can very easily uh, check, yes, uh, if the uh, the information about the product about the about the company are true. So they use the internet, uh, they can contact each other, share opinion and uh, verify you very, very, very quickly, positively or negatively way. Uh, you must uh, speak to your, uh, to your customer with passion and enthusiasm. Why? Because there's a lot, like, like in this example with oranges, there's a, a, a lot of similar products on the market products and services. So you have to, uh, to talk different way, individual way to your client and be always, uh, be always un uh, authentic. Uh, there's, there must be a message behind the story because you really have something important to say, to share with your customer. You want to convince them to follow your vision and mission and finally buy your products, you want to sell a products or service that make your customer happy, happiest. Uh, this way your communication will be faster, more, more effective, will engage your customer in communication between you and, and your customer and finally support you to sell. And, uh, I have a third, the last one, the last movie. It's Apple, it's about Apple products and authenticity. And please let me know if you want to watch it again or to, or you want me to just uh, describe the movie situation and stick with the authenticity and, and follow the presentation. Because this is, uh, next six minutes. No, uh, well, th those kind of the movie, as I said, they are longer and take time. So uh, would you like to watch or just uh, should I follow? Maybe you will be. You will be followed. Maybe. Okay. okay. And after we, we can watch. Okay, of after course. We... 
-hmm. yeah i will send you on the on the chat the the link and you will watch it uh, later so what is this situation this movie uh, made by apple was produced uh, at the at the beginning first first month of the pandemic and uh, the situation is like this there's a team working remotely having a very tough boss this is the lady uh, in the car with the with the seat belt over here she's very you know mean to the people very hard boss on the walkers and she's she she gave them a new task with the deadline in the 30 seconds of the movie the boss called again to the team leader to let them know that the the, the, the deadline is short much shorter than they agree at first and uh the people are panicked the team member they are panicked what to do we can't accomplish the the goal we won't do it we won't do the presentation for the client we can't do it absolutely no way uh what is funny in this movie as you will see that all the the team members are very different person the guy with the glasses is a father um, of of the of the family with a lot of kids they disturb him all the time when he walks. There is so, such a noise and he's not able, he's so busy he's, to manage kids at home that he's not able to dress himself from the top. And he always put some kind of shirts and use like a pajamas, <laughs> pajamas, you know. And the, the, the other team members are absolutely quite different. One is the guy very fat and his mother visiting him during this uh, the movie situation cooks all the time. The mother cooks and brings him food and the other uh, the other lady in the team member is fixed, you know, on yoga and training and she's staying home working hard. But by the way, she wants to train all the time, all the time, all the different people, different uh, lifestyles. Uh, living situation, but one task, they are a team and they have to accomplish a task. Whatever they do, it's funny, uh, but they all use Apple equipment. It's iPad, iPhones, computers, and different, different stuff, different uh, devices. And, and what is the, what is the, you know, the main message Apple wants to say? Uh, Apple wants to say, that is at, that Apple uh, proves in this movie that they they are pioneers in everything. No, what, no matter uh, where people live, how do they live, what gender they are, or what at pre they, they, and absolutely this uh, this video uh, uh, present the products show all around in the mess on the desk, downstairs under the knee, under the pillows, all over the product is placed. Well, but Apple wants to say that the products, uh, Apple's products uh, for employees uh, are the best to do their job anytime and uh, the very best way, quickly, eff efficiency, and a very nice, uh, nice way because the the, func the function of the devices are are easy. I will I will uh, uh, uh, uh, give you share the, the link to the story uh, shortly after the webinar to follow the presentation and tell you uh, where to use uh, storytelling. Uh, as an example, I show you, of course, a movies because they are the most attractive for our customers and clients, uh, just because of one reason. And the reason is that the people are lazy. People are lazy and uh, if they want to read, if they want to read the text, they have to put some effort on it. Just sit down and read. Uh, if they want to analyze some kind of the graphics, I, uh, infographics, they have to put some effort. But the movie, uh, about the movie, customers think as an, about an entertainment. It's like a bond. It's a new bond with Daniel Craig. So they think that this is entertainment. That's why they like movies. And that's why the, story, the movie is the best form for, um, oh, oops, 
Sorry, guys, someone at the door, excuse me. I am back, sorry for that. So different channel, uh, different content. This is a question mark because it's not necessarily. Uh, we watch the movies, I, as I said, because our customers are lazy and they don't want to pay too much attention and too much effort to, to meet our story. So uh, the answer on the question, it's not necessarily because as you see on, the, on this slide, we use for storytelling, we use very often movie, very often photo, photo or graphics, and sometimes we use a text. Even you will produce a very nice storytelling as a movie and put it on YouTube. It's very important to describe the, the, the text down below to let Google search know that you have such a nice movie and what is this nice movie about? So uh, your customer, if they want meet the, uh, the movie on social media, they will be able to search by the phrase, by the keywords and find the, the movie. Okay, so YouTube definitely we have a movie and the text. On a social media, we can have all everything, have movie, you can make nice gallery and buy photos by pictures, um, tell your story. And it's also text important for search. How about blogs? We have video blogs, of course. So it's the same came what YouTube, but if you, if you just, uh, if you have a blog and you just write the stories, write notes, all those rules and all those information elements of scenario must be used whatever you write in the text by text. But of course you have, you can combine on your blog test and different multimedia. It could be a music, it could be a video also, also, yes. But on the blog, the, the, you work on text uh, mostly. And the a little bit harder is uh, with the uh, infographics, with graphics alone which I mean, for example, a billboards. It's not, not, it's, it's not, uh, in, not, uh, you, you may, I'm sorry, you may use a billboard, but you, you have to think about the situation, the billboard is, is watched by your, by your customer. Uh, billboards in Poland, they are placed uh, usually next to the street. Yes. So when I am driving a car, when I drive the car, I'm not necessarily watching the billboards because I can, you know, do the accident. So that's why I will use the car insurance. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's, it's much more difficult. I put one more slide over here with the IFO, uh, uh, infographics. Uh, and as you can see on the left side, there's an uh, infographics um, about the technology, let's say, about the, it's like a IBM against versus contra uh, Apple, yes, Steve Jobs. So you have a Bill Gates, Gates uh, versus Steve Jobs. It's definitely the context is technology. The heroes, as you see, you can see the faces, yes. And when you see the history, you can just figure it out. What are the other elements of the uh, storytelling scenario, but as I mentioned, movie is very easy because everything I see, I hear the music, there's nice hero, it could be uh, such a famous actor in the lead role, and on the infographics, I have to think as a customer, what is this scenario about? Sometimes uh, I won't figure it out, I won't get to the point. If you would like to uh, analyze it, this, th those three infographics, 
this one with the coffee, uh, I can tell you that the, the coffee is a hero on it. And if you would like to um, uh, uh, analyze it, think about this info, uh, infographics, what they are about, where is the twist and action, we can talk uh, over the email or on, uh, on the messenger about it. Okay. Uh, okay uh, how how to use the storytelling to sell uh, why the storytelling could be your great lead to increase the sale for your business uh, because the, this kind of the advertising brings the effects as increasing and uh, attractiveness of recognizing of your brand if you will ask your friend what kind of the lipstick should you should you buy to change your image a little bit, your girlfriend, your friend will automatically th think about the pictures, the adverts she saw related to the lipstick and will advise you with the name of the lipstick, this one, which she remembered. it. If she didn't remember it, others, brands, other names of the product, she basically won't tell you. This is how the, the, the person, the human works, because we remember what is nice for us when we get the pleasure with. So if we want a nice movie uh, about, uh, the, about the women uh, made and produced by Dove, and we like them, we feel some emotion because about it. We remember the brand, then when my girlfriend, my friend will ask me about the shower gel, what I will say, I will say Duff. Because even if I sit down and write on the paper, the, uh, the name of the beauty companies, cosmetics companies I know, I will have to think about it harder, but I don't think about the Duff because their adverts use my heart. They, I've, I, I got this strong emotion about the, the mission, the vision, and that's why I do remember. That's why the attractiveness, the increasing of uh, uh, sharing in internet, the, the movies or the storytelling, it's important to rec for recognition the brand. What else? Uh, as the first rule of this storytelling, the building the emotional bond with the clients. There is something by the daft movies, I can see that they don't do, they don't share only hard advert, buy my, pro, buy my shower, buy my shower. It's the cheapest, it's the best, yes? They have a mission, as I mentioned before. They wanna do something for the women even it's not so touchy, even they don't, even, even, even I don't feel by personal that they do something for, they want to share some vision of women. And this is, the, that's why the emotional bond is important that to, to recognize the brand, not only as a company who sell, sell, sell, sell. What else? The storytelling, entertaining nature of your communication and Com commitment of your of your brand. Uh, this it was a lot. I said a lot about the communication before that. It has to be personalized. It has to be uh, focused on the clients because the products on the market are almost the same, uh, and you have to be, you have to sell yourself and show yourself better. And you can do it by by communication and commitment. And commitment, of course, defined by emotion again. And finally, uh, the storytelling helps you to build the community, community who will share your adverts, who will let other people's, uh, people know about the brand. And the best thing what your clients in the community can do, can recommend you, can give you a good opinion. All kind of the, uh, influencers profile, especially on, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, uh, dedicated to some kind of the topic, like a beauty, uh, 
if some influencer from the uh, writing about the beauty will share the information about DAF, whatever, write the text, even make uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, record the uh, the movie with the phone. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have a nice movie, very good, touchy, emotional movie about the the uh, about the story. Yeah. So the influencer, they can convince the, their followers uh, to, to the brand, to the product. Because at first, your communication, your marketing strategy was uh, focused on the, uh, of the, on the community. And the influencers uh, on social media use this, this same kind of the mechanism. OK. Uh, no more film, no more movies at the moment. Uh, the advantages of storytelling for business, uh, to build it, it takes time, takes time, takes generation, takes generation, but it could be so much uh, defined in our hearts, minds, and we don't think about it all the time, but we just feel it, we just react. As you see three pictures, three posters on this slide, uh, there is more behind the pictures what the companies wanted us as a customer to believe. Because there's no Christmas, no Christmas with Santa without the Santa's truck, with the uh, lighted truck riding through the snow with the music, you can hear the music right now because the Santa is coming because the Christmas is coming. coming. So Coca-Cola company has worked many generations with the adverts, with the picture, with the storytelling. So me and my kids, uh, younger 50 years, 45 years than me, yes, uh, Think about the Christmas this same way, that the Christmas can't be without Santa and Coca-Cola. And I don't know if you know that the, the image of Santa Claus, San, Santa was absolutely defined by Coca-Cola. Before the Coca-Cola posters, Santa, Cla Santa looks like a, a Saint Nicholas, yes? It was a priest with the head and with the, yeah. It didn't look like this. So this is the image of Santa absolutely uh, figured out, proposed by, by Coca-Cola. How about the apple? I mentioned before that apple proved that there's no better equipment to achieve any task, any goal, whatever is hard to achieve, but equipment of apple will help you. And the third one on the right hand, right hand side, sorry, it's about Reebok, and this I just I couldn't find the the poster with the with the with the mission with the vision uh, of Reebok, but Reebok uh, tell, tells us that there's no limits you can uh, you can jump. It's it's no limits for you as a human in sport you can achieve. So it's no limit for you, even if you wanna use a, an earth as a ball. Uh, so it's, it's, as you see the storytelling, it could be just a story, but for marketing has to have all this kind of the elements I'm, I was presenting to this moment. Even if you think about the storytelling, that by the story, you will manipulate your customer. Yes, you will, absolutely. You have to manipulate because all marketing is about the manipulation. Whatever we talk about, storytelling, ads, Google ads, blogs, articles, whatever. But the thing is, to be absolutely quite ethical with you and to have some kind of the limits, yes? That, and, and the limits are uh, personal for, for, for, uh, for, for each other, for every each person, for every each marketer for every each uh, business owner. You have to have a limits and they, the limits will be always your limits 
And as far as you do have a limit and you, you think about yourself as a business owner, marketer, as a good ethical person, you can use any form for marketing, even storytelling based on manipulation anyway. So we are almost there. We're almost over. Why the storytelling works? At first, create a powerful image of the brand or products. You define how, what is the strategy to create this image? How do you do this? Even you look at storytelling, you decide, is it movie? Is it blog? Is it uh, uh, infographics? Uh, whatever. Uh, the second, you can reach heads of customers to keep them close to the brand company to feel them that they, they are close to the mission and vision, not exactly always a product, but if they remember you, they will recognize you and they will recommend you. Yes. And third one, the third uh, reason, uh, the storytelling increased commitment, trust and loyalty of uh, at your customer. Finally, all those trees will uh, will give your customers a reason to take an action. So to buy, to share, to comment the product, the company, whatever is the storytelling you want to tell. Okay, as I promised, we are at the end of the presentation. I understand that it's more theory than uh, than a workshop or uh, some kind of the exercises, but it's very hard for this kind of the topic um, uh, give you some kind some some some kind of the of the uh, uh, task to do during the presentation. But but as far as you would like to do an effort and write in English some storytelling you would like to use for sell your products or services. And you will do, of course, uh, this in English. Uh, I, can, I can work with you on your stories um, over the email. But do you have any question at, at the time? Uh, hello, Natalia, it's Tina. Hi, um, Tina. Thank you, your, uh, thank you for your presentation. That was really, really very interesting. I actually myself kind of use storytelling techniques in my uh, everyday life because I'm a social media manager and oh, in different see. platforms, yeah, I do use it like either it's on copywriting tools or it's TikTok videos by a uh, but I actually do. It's just like you told us before, and I'm so happy <laughs> that <laughs> I'm doing it right as I see that. And um, I, I don't have questions. I just wanted to say thank you to you. Okay, uh -huh. Tina, but as you mentioned that you are a social media manager and that you use yeah. the storytelling at your job, could you please tell us, tell our audience uh, from your side of view, from your point of view, does it work? It works, works very nice, very nice because I attract customers. Like when I uh, just, for example, one of my clients are from a tour guides from Georgia and we talk about some different possibilities, how to, you know, enjoy life, not selling any tour prices or any tour possibilities. We just talk about how nice it's in Georgia to, you know, to go to see how have fun there or to snow and have have fun there with snowboard or skiing sessions and then uh, just uh, time by time we offer and if you want this kind of possibilities and if you consider this here we are offering and so on and so on and it's just really really looks very good because when I do my content I always try to uh, this content be shareable and uh, if they share share share this content it's very good for me as a social media manager because this is like I, I don't put any advertising fees to yeah, it that's for, for free yeah that's it's for free, free. And uh, yet when you when your storytelling is good and your content is good, it's entertaining, it solves somebody's problems, that works perfectly well. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> Tina, Tina says uh, that it's for free. Absolutely, as she said, she doesn't pay an ads for an ad, but it's yes. not really for free because you have to you have to work on it, prepare the, the content. Of and the quality of, of content, of course, needs to be, uh, as you said, good one, nice one, good quality, right. nice pictures. Yeah, it's That's it's right. content. Yeah, as you it was, you know, talking about this, it looks like a fun, not a job. It's it looks like a very spontaneous, spontaneous, you know, um, situation. But it's it's it's hard job anyway. It could be a fun. It but it's hard. for customers like this, but actually, I just work on this strategy like for a week. Yes. How to put content? How to organize it? What kind of copywriting I should put? What captions? What hashtags? And how I organize this for Google SEO uh, optimization in giants and everything I put there, but it does, it looks like three minutes video for them. Yes. It's like, it's just a three minutes for customers, but for Absolutely. me, it's two whole weeks. <laughs> but Absolutely. I mean, when it works, it satisfies me a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. And this is this kind of the marketing at, at long for, it's lasting long. So if you just uh, make a, all this hard job with this scenario strategy and produce the movie, and you put it in the internet um, to join, to share, to people to share. Uh, it takes a, a lot. I mean, it, it stay for a long time. It, it is still actual. It's, it, it won't pass That's like for three minutes when the movie is over. Right. So it's the, when the context content is attractive, it, was, it will do the job for months, years. YouTube prefers to, it's brain uh, memory sticks, right. sticks in brain. Right. Uh, I I will recommend you, Natalia, really very much. We had one very good advertising in Georgia. It was one million uh, tourists. That that's called like this. When uh, number one million tourists came flew into Georgia, yes. we did some amazingly huge campaign about this in tourists. I mean, uh, lots of people um, uh, were uh, at the airport when he landed and said, hi, you are the one million tourist in Georgia. And we took him for free. Uh, we just gave some free gifts to this tourist and made some campaign, ad campaign. And it was so amazing. Yeah. It was totally about uh, this tourist, but everyone it was on BBC and a lot more you know, people just uh, knew about Georgia and Georgian uh, touri tourism possibilities. And that was really, really very nice. I recommend yeah, yeah. you to see that campaign you will like it i will definitely and i will ask you uh, on on the, over the email because we just uh, you know was on the email yes, before yes. the webinar today yes and yes. It's, it's it's great because uh, it's it's great uh, example because it show how to how the you know the the uh the fact that the one million tourists comes uh, visit georgia can promote all country yeah Exactly, exactly. That was right. idea incorporated yes. into that yes. was manipulation actually, yes, but it was. It was positive, positive manipulation yes. because why not? Absolutely. If it's and if it's good for country. I wonder which one which one tourist will, will I become when I come to Georgia on Sat <laughs> on next Saturday? Maybe I will be the, the I don't know, the tenth 10 million tourists to come <laughs> who knows who knows <laughs> we don't know we don't know that yeah, we don't know yet <laughs> don't know yet of course i, have, I, I will see. try to do some po research diana you are the face of the project so you don't have to make any poster because we will recognize you. You are okay. well promoted yourself. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I, you, Tina. I for a yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Natalia, so thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, but I have one, uh, let's say, strategical, uh, sorry, I, the, uh, strategical or uh, <clears throat> uh, question. Uh, about the following situation. Uh, look, um, I, have an, I have a festival, 
Yeah. And uh, uh, I am owner of this festival. Uh, practically, I wrote business plan, strategy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But because of uh, again uh, a lack of money, or uh, because of it is uh, it was beginning, I could not uh, hire the SMM manager. Yeah, or a person who will help me with this uh, social media questions. So, and uh, practically these uh, three years, I was this person, you know. <laughs> I, I know. I wrote, <laughs> wrote texts and uh, do it uh, as, I, as I understand. So the question is the following. If today, again, it's made me weakness, but if today I am the only one person who knows what the story is behind this festival, you know? Because I have a lot of funny um, situation, before serious situation, uh, not very interesting situation, critical situation, and all this stuff I can organize like a small story. But from the other hand, it's time, you know, to, to move to another level because I do not have time, you know, to, to, do, to do this. Uh, but I am afraid to hire uh, SMM manager because again, it looks like I need to coach, I need to yes. explain, I need to understand, to, to check the text because no, somehow I, I also like to type, you know, I also like to do nice posts. In this case, what is your advice maybe? But again, for me, I all these things I call the content. Yes, it's content for me. Talk. It does yes. not matter it's story, it's a video or it's a small video or it's a, um, something from past. Uh, I uh, said that this is content. Uh, what to do in this, uh, in this case? How to organize these things? Because again, uh, it's a not a short period in a, in a not short period I can uh, coach or prepare the sure. nice SMM manager. I understand. You know, Nana, the, the first thing is to ask yourself a question. Do mm -hmm. you need this kind of the content and for what? The first question, do I need to create, to produce all kind of the storytelling? What, I do, I, what, what do I need this kind of the marketing for? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, uh, if you do uh, get the audience for your festival. You sell the tickets for all concerts or uh, attractions. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's it's one one moment. It's not a musical fest, music okay. festival. I do not have tickets, okay. so it's open uh, space. Okay, so it's open space. Uh, the, yeah. So so you know when it's open space, the question is: Do you have a problem to collect the audience? To, yes, of course. From the beginning, yes. yes, yes, very big problem. So, so I, mm -hmm. I would, I would uh, uh, think uh, about this kind of the storytelling and do it anyway. The, I know that the, our resources, our time and effort are always short. I do, I do have this same situation when you, what you have, what you Nana have in your business in my company I work for. I don't own the company. I'm just an employer uh, and I'm the only one person in marketing. So I do really know what everything. you, <laughs> yeah, I do everything. So I, I realize your problem. I am a content marketing. I do operate on the Google Ads Manager and I uh, have to uh, I know the Google Analytics for websites and I, uh, I uh, manage the LinkedIn and sell robots and everything. But anyway, the most important thing is to, to, some, to, to define the priority because you are just a human and, the, the, uh, uh, and every day and night it's only 48 hours when you need to sleep from time to time at least. So uh, I just, you know, with this short conversation, I think that the, the storytelling could do a good job for the marketing in your, uh, in your project, in your festival. But I know, I know, I realize that I don't, I didn't answer your question how to do it. Uh, I, I realize that it's hard to share the knowledge because takes all also takes time and uh, the time there is something we don't have, but maybe if, if you could uh, 
uh, write a good scenario, you know, just in a few points and delegate to someone who knows the social media, who can knows, who can use a phone, a cell phone, mobile, and make this kind of the storytelling as a movie. And it's, it's as, as I said, it's okay to do it by phone. It doesn't have to be a great production and studio and, you know, it doesn't yeah, have yeah. to be. Yeah, but I think that it's it's worth it to consider this, this storytelling in your marketing. Mm -hmm. Organize okay, yourself okay. better and delegate. This is the only the advice I'm, I can give you. Okay. I will give and, you uh, the same, Hannah. <laughs> Nat the one second. Tina, one second. Tina, one second. And uh, Natalia, I also have a uh, recommendation for you. Uh, tell to your uh, chief, or I don't know, the head of this company, that you are five in one. And the salary yes. needs to be five times more. <laughs> yeah, I know. But as every boss, my boss is a very nice fellow, but he doesn't care. The job must have to be done. And he likes to see, you know, the effects. Uh, even, even he agrees uh, me to uh, make the webinars during the time of the job of the office. It's something <laughs> what is good for the company because my boss can always say, that we are not that much uh, busy because we are able to develop and share the knowledge in the different Natalia, projects. Natalia, show him keep, keep, KPI, KPI. Yeah, <laughs> KPIs, I yes. KPI. <laughs> yes, but you know, okay, Nana, thank you. one more thing, <laughs> one more thing, uh, one, more, one more ideas, uh, advice for you. You can, uh, I don't know if possible, but you can just, you know, Find some, uh, you know, volunteer, volunteer, well, we volunteer, you should, Pangis, Diana, volunteers, yes, volunteers, thank you, yes. thank you, yes, volunteers. Tina, Tina, I see, I see Tina is volunteer, she wants yes. to be volunteer. And you'll be, you'll be a leader in this project, <laughs> and just, you know, ask volunteers to prepare yes. to make record this kind of the storytelling movies, just, okay. you know, delegate. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. <laughs> Tina, you want to be in, uh, in my group? <laughs> Nana, dear, uh, I will recommend you a very good influencer marketers and that they will uh, create some content for you in very, very low prices and you will be really satisfied if you want to. I think this is the best decision. Influencers yeah, good idea. Yeah, and content creators who create content. Yes, if they are cheap, if okay. Georgia, great. In Poland, the influencers are expensive, unfortunately. Yes, they're expensive, I know. So I see, I see now, Diana, uh, if the uh, Polish uh, uh, chief gives me money for my festival, I hire Tina's recommendation guy, and after that, say thank you to Natalia. <laughs> We will, I will see, Nana. We will see. I, will, I hope uh, so. I hope. I will ask my boss if he can be a sponsor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Nashli, Nashli, we had. So, we have the end of that story, you know. <laughs> yes. This is a uh, good storytelling we are doing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> You're right. Thank okay. You. Okay. Any more questions? So let me show you the last the last slide. This is the information how you can reach me and really be free to send me an email. I do answer, maybe not very quickly, but uh, I'm trying to. Uh, and as I said before, if you would like to write some story and it's known not only a me, an expert in this team because Tina is also an expert, so I can always contact Tina and uh, make some consultation. With great pleasure, Natalia, you're always welcome. Thank you, thank you. So uh, if there is no question, no more question, Diana, do you think that we can just end our meeting? Yes, if uh, not more question or some comments, if some have some comments or question or if not now, maybe after they will be connect, connect with you. 
because uh, that uh, you have already here uh, email, LinkedIn, Facebook. So uh, I think uh, girls, you can uh, somehow write. If not uh, now, you have some like last chance to ask some question or something like this, maybe because Natalia, it's very busy. I know. Well, so you are I very busy. I know that. Uh, for, for to uh, for to answer a lot of questions by but email, but it, here this is chance to ask you something. Yes. And Yes, but yeah, I will. Yes, I will. Uh, but I do will answer all uh, emails. But you know, as today, just before our webinar, we just communicate with Tina, so I couldn't answer right away, because I because I was just you know just focus on our meeting. But uh, I also I'm hoping to meet you personally in Georgia between fourth and twelfth December. We are coming. Uh, for the visit uh, with the Polish team of experts. So I won't be the only one expert for you to share the knowledge, to meet you each other in person, face to face and spend some time together. And I hope uh, talk about the realities of our countries because when I was just thinking about the, our meetings and I was preparing myself to our webinars, uh, I realized that I don't know so much, so not not so much about the country and about the uh, the, the differences. And uh, I already remember from the last week that uh, women are not that much popular in business. What what men are, but um, but I hope it will change because of this kind of the project project you participate in. So I believe that we are women's are much more powerful than men and we can prove it by this kind of the project by businesses we can you know uh, we can we can we can do and uh, be and manage and and succeed so i'm very very very happy that i'm coming to to meet diana personally and meet your country and meet you at conferences and uh, and uh, and that's it this is from me, from me. That's it from me. Thank you, Natalia, for amazing presentation, for amazing two presentation actually, because the, it was it was one was last week. Now it's the last one. So um, thank you for your time. Uh, You're for very welcome. Your uh, expertise, which you gave us, I think the girls are very happy for that. So uh, I'm happy too. My pleasure, <laughs> so my say, pleasure. Yes, uh, because like uh, that, uh, this is final our seminar, but uh, on the Monday we have that like online forum where the girls will be share their presentations um, uh, about the like five minute storytelling about themselves will be. So I hope that you will be also join. Uh, or not, you can look after the recording. Uh, so I hope all girls will be um, the girls will be show uh, themselves. We also will be share more information, so we also will be know each other better. And after we will meet directly on in Tbilisi and in Batumi, uh, and I will give you more information. So thank you very much. Uh, our sessions are already final final finalized and uh, good luck uh, we will be meet on the monday i will share more information about that too you can follow up uh, on our facebook group so thank you and see you soon <laughs> okay. thank you bye bye good bye. luck to you bye thank you you too bye bye goodbye